What's going on guys? Today is an awesome day because I just got a notification that a package in the mail has arrived. It is a one-of-a-kind part. There has never been a part like this ever shipped to the United States. Um, and I think it might be the only part like it that's ever been made. I'm not entirely sure because I think I might have received the prototype. I don't know if this is going to go into production or not. But it just arrived in the mail. I think it's actually at my father's place right now. Um, for some reason, the last time I ordered off of eBay, uh, it was set to his house. So I'm going to have to drive all the way across town to go and pick that up. But we're going to get an amazing part in for the 370Z today. First, let's go ahead and get a cold start going and just ignore the box that I have over there. up I might as well update you guys with what is going on with the 370. Firstly ignore everything that's currently rattling around in the trunk I'll get to that at the end of the video uh, but the 370 was recently lowered as you guys saw in my coilover install video. I um, absolutely love these coilovers so far. The ride is actually surprisingly comfortable with my previous experience with BC coilovers on my Sentra. The ride was quite stiff and really harsh but on the 370 it feels a lot more natural. I had mentioned this in my install video. The coilovers feel like they really fit this car really well. The car is sitting at exactly the ride height that I was hoping for. Um, I'm hoping that my car can stay this low um, as long as I can but the problem is having driven around in this for about two weeks now I am scraping on just about everything that's in the middle of the road. It's not actually that bad on normal roads. When I'm driving around about 40 miles an hour or so, any dip in the road is fine. I don't really have an issue with scraping, except just there. I don't know if y'all heard it. But whenever I get on the freeway and I'm doing like 50 miles an hour, if I see a dip in the freeway, I have to slam on the brakes and get down to below like 50 or so, or otherwise the main issue is the mufflers. I have Fast Intentions catback exhaust, as you guys know. The mufflers on that hang extremely low, so they end up scraping on any of the dips, especially on the freeway, um, or if there's any large objects sitting in the middle of the road. And this has been really inconvenient for me. Um, I really don't want to be scraping on anything because the stuff I bought is exactly cheap, um, and I don't want to ruin the undercarriage of this car. So I'm having to look at solutions right now for this to be able to prevent the car from scraping on everything and I'm probably going to end up just having to raise the car by maybe about half an inch or so and I'll probably end up needing to stiffen up the suspension. Um, I told you guys in my coilover install video I will be adjusting these coilovers pretty soon to be able to uh, fix some of those issues. Um, I also need to do an alignment on this. Before I can do that though I'm probably going to need to get some camber arms for the Z because the camber in the rear is absolutely horrendous right now. It's it's off by about five degrees or so um, and I'm not a member of what you would say is the camber gang uh, I kind of like my wheels being oriented correctly I don't want to be driving the car around like it's got broken legs or something so I need to get the coilovers fixed mainly by getting the camber adjusted I need to raise it slightly to stop scraping on everything probably need to stiffen the suspension up as well to help with that but apart from that I really love these coilovers the ride feels amazing now the Z handles beautifully I feel like I can actually take corners a little bit faster now um, there's a bunch of sweeping corners on some of our access roads that I can take um, and it feels like the car just wants to stick much better I've got a lot of the body roll eliminated whenever I jerk the steering wheel from side to side the car just feels completely planted hardly have any body roll so I have no regrets about getting these coilovers. I just need to get them adjusted so that way the car is sitting where it needs to be. I will of course document that for you guys. I will show you how you can adjust coilovers. It's a pretty simple process. I will also be installing the camber arms myself. I might try and do an alignment on my own, but that's really something that you need an alignment machine for to be able to get done perfectly. So I'll probably end up needing to take it to somebody, but I will install the camber arms myself. I'll show you guys how you can do that. Um, I may only get camber arms for the rears because the camber on the front seems okay, but we'll have to see what's going on there. And again, at the height that the car is sitting at, absolutely love it. I'm hoping to keep it here, but we'll see. Now, the other major project that I've got going on right now, as I told you guys, is the 370Z's bumpers. 
are not the right color at the moment. If you're new to the channel, I recently got Nismo bumpers installed on my base Model 370Z, and unfortunately, the color just came out completely wrong. The paint guy that I used didn't match the color, so now I've been debating how I'm gonna get this fixed because he won't uh, reimburse me for what I ended up paying him. So the two options that I've been considering, as you guys know, is either one, getting the bumpers repainted completely, or I might try and wrap the entire car. So painting the car will of course look nicer. I prefer the look of real paint and the feel of it as well. The only problem is it will be much more expensive to do. It's about 1400 to get these bumpers repainted. Um, and I have some other parts that I'm looking at getting painted as well, and that's gonna drive the cost up even more. I don't know that I wanna spend that much money at the moment, um, but it's the first option I was weighing. The other option, as you guys know, is I was looking at wrapping the car. Um, I looked at some Vivid Space Pearl vinyl. I've already shown you guys a couple of samples of that already. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love the pearl blue that this vinyl has to it. I'm really happy with the color. The only thing is I don't really like the feel or look of vinyl as much as paint. But the added advantage of wrapping is it's A, gonna be cheaper. Um, to get all the material, it's only gonna be about 300 bucks or so. Um, it'll also give me an opportunity to try something I haven't done before. I've never wrapped an entire car. So it'd be kind of a fun project to be able to take on. And then also if you wrap the car, it kind of acts as a protective layer over the paint that's underneath. So I would be indirectly protecting the paint in that regard, which would be kind of nice. Plus with wrapping, if I end up not liking it in the future, it's really easy to just heat it up, take the vinyl off, no harm done to the car. But I have made my decision as far as what I want to do, and I'm going to go ahead and get the car wrapped, or rather I'm going to wrap it myself. This isn't my first option. I know some of you guys are probably already going to be beating on me for this. I did want to repaint the car. The problem is I can't afford it right now. It's going to cost almost $2,000 to get everything I want painted, and I can't pay that at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the car. Again, if I mess this up, I can always just peel it off later. It's fine. The, all the vinyl I need is only going to be a couple hundred bucks. If you all have noticed, of course, I have all of these panels sitting in the trunk right now, and that is because I recently removed the spoiler yesterday to be able to try and wrap the hatch. The only problem is the roll of vinyl that I was gonna use for the car came in the wrong color. I accidentally ordered Space Pearl metallic vinyl instead of Space Pearl gloss, and apparently those two are completely different colors. The metallic doesn't have all of the blue that was in the gloss vinyl that I had already sampled for my roof. So I am currently waiting on Vivid to restock this color because they're currently out of stock right now, so I can't get enough vinyl to be able to wrap the car. So until then, I've just got some masking tape right now covering the holes for my spoiler. Um, but actually, that brings me to another subject. As you guys saw in the title, I am selling my 370Z's GT spoiler. If you guys are interested in picking up my spoiler, you can go ahead and direct message me on my Instagram, The Horizon, and uh, we might be able to work out a price. I'm not gonna be selling this for about a couple of weeks because I am currently waiting on a replacement part to come in. Um, I don't know how long that's gonna take. Uh, last time it was around a couple of weeks to get my previous spoiler in. I don't know how long this part is gonna take. But this part is, um, I won't say anything, but I am really looking forward to it. Um, I can't believe this spoiler was actually manufactured. I was really hoping for something like this to come up, uh, but I didn't think it was gonna happen. But sure enough, a couple of weeks ago, this item was posted for sale. So um, you'll see that in a couple of weeks. Until then, I'm gonna keep my current spoiler. But if you guys are interested in picking it up, just direct message me on Instagram and we can work something out. And we are almost at my dad's place, guys. I'm super stoked right now. I cannot wait to be able to open this up. The thing that I ordered looks absolutely beautiful. Um, but here it goes. And here is what I have ordered, guys. For anybody who's a 370Z enthusiast, you're probably familiar with the dovetail boxing. It's quite iconic of Evo R's products. That's because he always uses the same boxing material whenever he's sending stuff out. And before anybody says anything, yes, what I have ordered is actually the only item of its kind right now. It's not something I just ordered off of Jay's website. I believe this is the only one he has actually made in this style. Um, it is a unique item from what I understand. I think this is the prototype of what he's gonna put into production eventually. So you guys will get a little bit of a sneak peek on that. I haven't been able to clarify that though because I tried sending him an email and for anybody who has talked with Jay before, 
He notoriously is difficult at responding to emails, partly, I guess, because his English is probably not that great, partly because he just doesn't respond to emails. So I'll let you guys try and guess what exactly this is. I've actually pulled over at a Walmart because I need to pick up some things to be able to install this correctly. So comment down below what you guys think it is that I ordered, and let's go ahead and get some supplies. All right guys, and it is now finally time to get this opened up. I got some isopropyl alcohol and a little spraying bottle here to be able to mount this up properly. This is the first time that anybody will be seeing these. Because again, it is the first one that's ever been manufactured. <laughs> these are beautiful. So what I have ordered is a set of honeycomb carbon fiber mirrors. I'm hoping that that's coming through for you guys because it is pretty uh, dark outside, but I hope you can see the honeycomb pattern in that. Honeycomb carbon fiber is a type of carbon fiber that has only become popular very recently. Um, Fly One is the only company that has really made parts like this until now. I found this on eBay one day while I was Googling hexagon carbon fiber for 370Zs. There was only one of these for sale. Uh, and Jay hasn't even posted it on his website yet, so I don't know what his plans are for this. I don't know if he's actually going to be releasing more of these, but I am so far the only one that has ever bought one from what I understand, um, and he hasn't really made any other additional copies of this. I ordered these because it is going to match a couple of other parts that I have coming in on Tuesday. There's another hint for you guys what I have coming in for the car. Uh, we'll go ahead and get these mounted. Um, he also has, of course, the second mirror cover in here and he has provided me with the mounting tape that we are gonna need for this. So um, we'll go ahead and get the mounting tape applied to this. We'll go ahead and clean up the uh, mirrors real quick and then we'll get these awesome looking mirror covers installed on the 370Z. Alright guys, and it is a couple of hours later. Um, I had to finagle with these quite a bit to be able to get them to fit correctly. Unfortunately, the mounting tape that EvoR sends you is a little bit too thick, so I ended up using some thinner stuff that I had laying around the house. The fitment now is almost perfect. Um, thankfully, while I was taking these covers off and putting them on several times, um, thankfully the carbon fiber is strong stuff and I didn't end up cracking anything because I did have to use quite a bit of force to try and pry up these mirror covers when the mounting tape is already set. Um, I was actually about to pull the whole mirror off. That's how strong these things are. But um, they're looking really nice now. Love the look of them. This is again a hint at what I have coming in on Tuesday. I've got a huge truckload of stuff coming in, um, some other major parts for the Z, and these are going to match really well with that. Unfortunately, I can't get any good images of these covers right now because it is getting quite dark, but I hope you can see that the fitment is perfect, and you guys will be getting more images of these later on as I'm able to get the other parts in the car and get this build finished. Hopefully, I can also get the vinyl in pretty soon so I can continue wrapping this car because right now, of course, I have the spoiler sitting off of the Z. I just have some mounting tape covering those holes at the moment, but hopefully we can get that fixed soon. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to follow this build, and I will see y'all in the next video with the 370Z. Later.